just assumed I'd play the part of keeping you in the right direction. already moisturized my face so you always want to start off your makeup with a clean fresh face and for my moisturizer today I use the elf nourishing cream really do love this cream especially for my under eyes it really keep it soft and moisturized throughout the day so that's what I use and now I'm just gonna go into my eyebrows because I do have an eyebrow tutorial I have two on my channel already but I keep getting questions about my eyebrows and how I do them and all of that so I will link that below and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this video I'm starting out with my eyebrow pencil and this is just a regular pencil that I picked up from the dollar store this is color matte eye pencil in black brown brush it up because that's the that's the direction I want to go ahead and fill it in so I just like to start off with the areas that do have hairs and just lightly stroke it up. Just little small strokes. And then when I get to the bottom, I, I start to go in this direction. And you can see how it's the difference already starts to fill in for the tail I like to follow the line in which I already um, shaped it I can already see the shape and this is a high point of the brow right here so I like to just take my time and start to form out the arch again I'm gonna do this side before I even start cleaning anything up so I start to fill in and I'm filling in where I have here. I want it to be longer so I'm extending it and I'm just doing the same little light strokes. You can tell how far my hand is on the pencil. So I'm not going right up here to make it too harsh. That's it and now I'm going to go under the brow to make the tail. So I start with what I have and then I start making that curve. Once I have the curve, I'm just pulling it all the way down, not passing right there. Now I have the line, I'm going to go on top of it. Be it bigger, on top I go back again. I'm just pulling that strokes longer. And that's pretty much it guys. Now you can go in with your concealer, clean it up. But before you do that, you want to also set it, especially if you don't have a lot of brow hairs like myself. I like to go in and set it with a powder. Now, the powder for the tail, I'm going to use black, and the powder for the inner part, I'm going to use okay, brown. Okay, so I forgot one last thing, one very important step, is your mascara. Now, this is just the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. I picked it up also from the dollar store let me know if you guys want me to do a dollar store haul um, because I do find a lot of great stuff at my dollar store and I think you guys could really benefit from it so let me know if you want to see a video of that just leave it in the comment section below and I'll definitely get on that I make you. sure I clean off all the excess and then I just go in very lightly and then we're done. So I brought you guys a little bit closer so you can really see what I'm doing. I'm taking my scotch tape and I'm just going to keep it as a border so I don't go Moving over Moving into line. the eye, I'm taking Fatal Attraction from Star Crush Mineral. I'm gonna use this as my first color and I'm using the Sigma E40 brush. I've always heard a lot of good stuff about Sigma brushes so I bought this set and I will be doing a review for you guys so and tell you how everything works out. Now this deep purple color and this is Midnight Paris or Midnight in Paris and this I'm gonna use on another Sigma brush and this is their E45. It's a smaller brush from the E40 and more tapered. 
Now to cut the crease, I'm gonna use the Prolong Wear Concealer and this is NC30. And I'm going to take this small E70 brush here. Now I'm gonna start from my inner corner and I'm not gonna go all the way to the end. I'm gonna stop about three quarter of the eyelid there. Because I have hooded eyes, I'm going a little bit above my crease. Else, if I try to cut it exactly where the crease is, then it wouldn't show up. It just disappear, as you guys can see. It's just disappearing there. So I have to go a little bit above my lid just to make sure that it shows up. And then just blend out the edges with my finger. I'm going on top of that with Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek. Now for my wing, I'm using LA Colors Liquid Liner. So I'm slowly slanting the, eye, the wing. While it's still drying, I'm just taking some black. And this is just a regular um, eBay brush. I'm just deepening out the outer corner with the black need to do now is to just add my lashes and I'm just reusing some lashes that I have this is from eBay so I just finished with the eyes I just put on the lashes and remove the tape so now as you guys know I really love to do the powder before foundation routine so I'm using the airspun loose powder again on this fluffy brush that I purchased from Aliexpress And I'm using the MAC foundation today at the Studio Fix and this is NW45. I'm going to use this foundation brush. This is a Sigma E60. I'm going to use it to paint on the foundation and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend it out. ahead and highlight and to do my highlight I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and this is NC30. It's a little bit too light but I don't mind. Sometimes I really like a really highlighted look and I'm using the large concealer brush again from Sigma E65. Now that I've blended out everything nicely, I'm going to go ahead and set it with my Sasha. I'm using the tapered face brush, this is the F25. Now I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Collection in Ebony Bronze and I'm using this small contour brush. This is the F05. I just assumed I'd play the part of keeping you. I highlight I'm using this shade right here. It's a door chrome. You can't really see, but it's like a purple shift to it. And I don't remember the name of it, but I got this from Divina Cosmetics. I'm just going to use my F35 tapered highlight brush. I'll be here as your foundation. And I also went on top of this with this nice little gold shift like pink one way and then gold the next way so I went on top of it so I have on two highlights finish off the lips with the Jared Cosmetics um, this is their lip pencil in nude picked up a few of these so let me know if you guys want to see a lip swatch video of these and I'll definitely go ahead and make that for you guys and I absolutely love how it came out I think it was perfect for this look because the eyes bold and in your face so the lips I just wanted to keep nice and simple and let it just blend in with everything else. To set my face, I use the Jared's Cosmetics Stay All Day. Also went ahead and used my favorite, which is the MAC Prep and Primer. So this is the finished look. Hold on.